Wait. What is this? What is this? What do you mean? I'm just gonna be trying some snacks. So I'm just gonna be trying some snacks now from uh from Bulgaria. Got a little booklet here. So yeah, we're doing some uh trying out some Bulgarian snacks today. Uh yeah, and this will be going up on YouTube as well. So if you haven't already, here's the link for the YouTube channel. Um go and uh give me a sub there and like the video, all that good stuff. But yeah, Bulgarian snacks today. I'm just gonna run through uh have you tried the candy? What? Bulgarian candy? I've never tried anything from Bulgaria before. I didn't go on... I was going to go on holiday with her one time, but I think I had... Something else came up. But all my mates went, and I didn't in the end, which was uh, which is annoying. It's on the list. It's on the list to eventually go out there. It shall be as gentle as lambs. <laughs> cheers, cheers, Cappy. You never told me uh, you're going to be... Uh, Filming for YouTube blim. I did actually. If you look in the, I, I said it on the Discord, and I said it about three times in the stream. <laughs> but yeah, let me just run through what I've got today. I forgot to put the drink in the in the fridge, which is annoying. But uh, oh, got you candy from the UK. Nice. That'd be cool to see. We even got a deal uh, from YouTube, and we'll start streaming exclusively on YouTube. <laughs> I haven't actually. My YouTube channel is. Uh, is a very small YouTube channel. Um, I say I actually don't know how to pronounce any of this. I'll try on certain words that look relatively English, but they look kind of Cyrillic. The language is is Cyrillic, so I can't actually read it. But these are called, from what I can see, Nanpuka. Nanpuka. So we've got these. I've got high hopes for these. I've got high hopes for them for some reason. Uh, these are called tzatziki flavored baked cubes. What's something different? I just realised when I go back, it shows the uh, green screen. Oi! How you doing, comedian? Don't me oh, and guys, I'm I try my best to to be chatty during this, but it is it is difficult. I need to change my thing as well. I do this every time. Every time I forget to put it. Just chatting. Alright, so we got these as well. Not a clue what these are. They look like little crystally like sweets. This is more just for if there's any Bulgarians watching on the YouTube video. Or in the stream. This is called a, a milk kiss soft cake. This looks fucking lovely. Milk Kiss Soft Cake. It's like biscuits, comedy biscuit on top, cream biscuit, cream biscuit. Why Bulgari Bulgarian? Because I'm doing a, a Bulgarian snacks, comedian. Would go nice with a nice hummus dip. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We got a medenki, a medenki. It's like a like a cookie thing. Lars, I, I, no redeems as well. I'm going to be eating the treats now anyway, so. This is called Party Drinks. Party Drinks. Lime. I think that that's, must be a lime. You won't be able to see that because it's green, but it's a green, it's a green drink. How you doing anyway, comedian? Uh, coconut. This is a coconut flavoured um, bar, I guess. Oh, these. Oh, I had these with. Uh, these are lush. These are really nice. I'm trying to. There you go. Can you see that better? These are like. I had these in the Romanian. In the Romanian snack box. They were decent. Or something very similar, anyway. So I'm hoping they are. Uh, YouTube are foiled by green screen. <laughs> yeah, it does it every time. Uh, what's this? God. Yep, hom pomeu. That. Interesting. All vi These are all very, you know, very different. Just a biscuit. It says Opex Obka on the, on the back, so that's that there. Just a random... <laughs> just a random silver thing. Sam. 
I said no, no, uh, no commands in the uh, while, while we're doing the filming. All right. Uh, this is called Miper Black and Brownie. That looks uh, dropped it. That looks uh, pretty good. Did refund all the treat points? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, mate. And there's this little monkey thing here. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but um, yeah, little monkey snack. I think I'm going to start with this this little monkey snack. I think. But yeah, cheers, uh, cheers, Lars, mate. Let me just open this up and show you. Saying some games, uh, resting after finishing fifth year. Oh, mate, nice. Congratulations, man. Oh, I've clicked off the. Uh... What am I doing? It's a mess. It's all a mess. What am I doing? All right, there we go. All right, this is cool. It is a little monkey. <laughs> I'm gonna do what? Uh, I'm gonna try and do a thumbnail with this. There we go. A little monkey. It's pretty cute. Kind of don't want to ruin it. <laughs> so cute. All right, let's give it a go. Weird. It's quite nice. Quite nice. Put a monkey in your mouth. Hmm. It's quite. It's strange, but it's nice. That's um. I don't know if you can see that there. That is a. Uh, it's banana flavor. It's like a like a banana flavor kind of cream, but it's. It's not like a milky cream. It's more like a fruity cream, if you know what I mean. It's decent. I like that. I feel like we don't get enough banana flavored stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of um. I'm literally chucking everything everywhere. <laughs> All right, that was good. Yeah, I really like that. That was a. Uh, it's like a it reminding me of, of a banana Twinkie kind of flavour. A bit, a bit stronger on the banana though. But that was good. Seven point one. Seven point one. It looked fucking cool. Bon appetit, Liam. Cheers, mate. It was a little chimpanzee, but yeah, that was that was um, that was really fucking. That was good. That was a good start. Seven? Did I say seven point one? Seven point one. By the way, guys, you might think I might be in a. I might be being a bit um harsh on stuff. I I I do harsh. I am harsh. Poor monkey. I hope they are delicious. It was pretty good. Yeah, I recommend them. It's nice. I mean, I don't think I'd be eating them all the time if we had them here all the time, but um. Yeah, pretty good. Tzatziki flavoured cubes. So these. Cub cubetti? Cubetti? I, I feel like these should go with a salad. Um, why the uh, NGH? Uh, 420, thank you so much. I'm going to call you 420. Thanks so much for the follow. I really do appreciate that. Welcome in. Fuck me. How's it going, ma'am? How's it going, 420? Fucking hell. Weird. Very strange. I don't know if you'd have... It seems to me something you put on a salad, but, um... They're nice. They're nice. Very strange. Really like full flavour. Like it really does taste like tzatziki. These are nice. An upcoming rapper would like to hear my first song ever. I need advice on it. Mate, go for it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Erzy. Yeah, I, you can't post links in here. If you want to post it on my Discord, you're more than welcome to. Watching him eat, I'm crying. 
These are fu these are good. These are really good. But again, it's like I'll, I'll show you what they actually look like. If you can see in there, they're lit tiny little cubes that taste like tzatziki with a bit of like onion. We need more. <laughs> they are really nice. Um, I just don't like. I mean, they are they are they are nice. I'm I'm just gonna give. I'm giving out too high scores. I'm, I'm becoming a nice person. I'm gonna say seven point two for them. They're good. I'm gonna go through all of them. I will be eating all of them later on. Right. So let's try a sweet. Oh, Chase, I read that there. I thought it said Lars, you're sexy. Lars is sassy. I'm gonna try these now. The purple. This, whatever this is. Little crystals. I'm becoming nice. <laughs> All right, let me show you these. Little flowers, little flowers, um, little flower sweets. They're like little crystal, there's like crystals on top. Do you hear that? <laughs> I misread it, Trace. I misread it. So if you're having a uh, craving for tzatziki, I'm also craving crunch. Yeah, perfect. Exactly, coffee. Ah. Oh. Not a fan of these. Nah. First of all, bit they're a bit hard. They're very per perfumey. Um, I couldn't tell you what the flavour is. It's maybe grape, but no, I don't like them. Pork. <laughs> Um Yeah, I'll give it one I'll give it one more go. Nah, not for me. They taste a bit uh, hard to explain really. There's these sweets in the UK that we get then the little tubes are purple and they're quite dusty. I don't even know what they're called really. They're like the most unpopular thing on like you get little like doggy bags or whatever. Nah. Not for me, those sweets. Really like perfumey and you know, I feel like I feel like breathing it in a bit. Nope. Hopefully my daughter likes them. <laughs> the face of a man who feels disappointed. I'd, I mean, we've had some good ones already. Two good ones. Like two sevens is good. Is a good start. I hope you have had it. No, I haven't. I haven't had my tea. So I'm going to try this thing now. It was just like a like a block, basically, of tin foil. First thing I think of is it's like, kind of like a. Uh, I thought it was going to be like a slice of Terry's chocolate orange or something, but there it is in all its glory. Don't know what I'm doing. It just smells like a chocolate, to be honest. I don't know what that is. They do actually have a little booklet here that tells you, tells you stuff. Um, a violet licorice flavor. That's what that last thing was. Violet licorice. This is a soft fond fondant core glazed with chocolate. A truly classic Bulgarian dessert. This isn't bad. It is chalky. That is chalky. Maybe uh, uh, it will actually make a difference, Cappy. You are right there. If you don't have your dinner, it will affect scores. But I usually don't on these days because there's a lot to eat at once. There's a lot of snacks, and uh, yeah, it's better to have, you know, better. To... Quite nice. We've had, I've had stuff similar here before. Not bad. 
although it's not amazing or anything. Kind of dark chocolate on the outside. On earth we call it chocolate. <laughs> Oh, it's like a fondant in the middle. It's different. That's like a it's like almost. It's not. Chalk, it's like I don't know. It's dense, kind of chalky, but decent. Like I mean, it's not really something I'll be going out to get again. They do have these actually. They have them usually. They're mint flavored here in the UK. I don't know five point five point two. Pretty pretty standard, but um, yeah, not bad. You just have a palate cleanser a sec. And yeah, say it again. Sorry, guys, if I'm if I uh, miss a, any comments just while I'm doing this. It does it does happen sometimes. Right, what do we want next? Let me save these. Let me let me do this one. I, I pretty much I'm sure I had this in the Romanian one uh, last. Well, it wasn't last summer Spanish, wasn't it? But um, let me give this a go. This was I actually really liked this. It was like soft, buttery, sweet. It was kind of like like a pastry almost, with a sweet. Okay, let me just show. Yeah, that's good. It's like a, it tastes like a croissant. It tastes like a really thin croissant with a yeah, a bit sweet, but not overly sweet. It's really fucking nice, actually. I really like that. Good crunch, yeah, like buttery, really crumbly, like the sort of thing you do get all over yourself. Like if you were eating a croissant. Um, I know there's some people there that are desperately trying to do the exclamation mark croissant. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it if you want. Because I've said croissant too many times now. But, um... Yeah. That's nice again. Oh, fuck. Seven point... Seven point two again. I like that. That's really good. I'm quite happy we don't have biscuits like that in the UK. Croissant! But... Croissant! There we go. <laughs> Because uh, I feel like I put on a lot more weight than I already do. All right, Penny. Okay, this is called Penny Borka. Penny Borka. Penny Borka. I think this is going to be like a a Bulgarian version of what's that thing called? Can't remember the name of it. I can I can think of the American all right mounds like the American mounds are bounty. It's gonna be like that. It's got coconuts on it, so let's have a look. Ah, oh, shift from. It's kind of like soft. Nougat, um, which is which is coconut flavour. It's quite nice. I show you that. Ah, it's, it's, yeah, decent. I like that. It's kind of got the texture of like just a Mars bar without the um, without the caramel, or or like a Milky Way, a UK Milky Way. Same texture as that, but it's got a hint of like coconut. Again, I like it. Won't like you know go mad for it or anything. So I'm gonna give that a six point two. It's not bad. Pretty good. Team almond. <laughs> uh, let's try the drink now. So this is just called party drinks. Uh, sugar free, aspartame free. And I'm, I'm no chance of this. It's all in Cyrillic. So you can't can't see it. It's the uh, there you go. But it's lime. It's a lime drink. The coconut song. I don't think I've uh, I've heard the coconut song before. All right. Whoa. Playing with fire here. <laughs> don't know why I risked that. 
uh, glorified apple juice. Look, it's uh, pretty bright coloured though. Really yellow, yellowy green. So why you can't see it on the on the screen. So this keeps crawling up. Really, really carbonated. Let me uh, put the coconut song. Okay, cool. It's beer? No, not beer. Shrek's piss. It does look. It does look a bit like a, like that. Just like a lime and soda kind of, you know. Not bad. A bit light on the. It's not that limey. It's not sharp at all. I don't know if you have it in um other places around the world, but in the UK we, you know, if you go to a pub and you're not drinking alcohol, a lot of time people have lime and soda, like lime cordial with soda. It kinda tastes like that, but I'd say the lime cordial soda is usually better. Just tastes a uh, honestly taste a bit like cheap lemonade that you'd get in the uh I know like own brand shop lemonade basically. My name is Ron Burgundy. <laughs> yeah, it's, it tastes like own brand lemonade to be honest. Like three point three point one. It's it's all right, you know. It, you know, is what it is. Not great. All right, this is the thing I've been looking forward to. The Nan Puka, I think it says Nan Puka. Now I'm gonna guess it says pepper. It's a pepper flavored thing. My name's Ron Burgundy. <laughs> all right. All right, let me uh, just show you what they look like. Little, little what's it's kind of. Let's give it a go. Flavor's not massive. A pretty subtle flavor. Just trying to get to. Right, they fill the bags right up anyway, I'll tell you that. That doesn't even look very good on the camera, but it's like up to here, basically. Pretty. They've got a lot of stuff in here anyway. Not like everywhere else where you just get like it down here and then just like that much. Was it nitrogen they fill them with? Oh, that was nice. That was nice there. I'll pull back a little bit. I'm trying to, with the mic down, I'm trying to let it go over. Yeah, these are actually good. They're really like, like, really, really light. Like, they're nowhere near as dense as like Watsit or Cheetos. These things always stick to your teeth, don't they? I'm gonna shake the bag up a little bit. Because some of them are really, really nice and some of them are like, haven't got much flavor on. This bad boy's gonna tell me what they are, really are. He's flavored, he's very flavored. I like him, I like him. A layer of cream cheese, yeah, they do that with these these things, but they're nice. They're nice. What do I give them now? A I think I'm gonna, oh, mate. I keep like just going around the same thing. Whatever. Like, I will eat all of these tonight, 100. percent I 
7.2. 7.2. I wanted to give them more, to be honest, but 7.2 on them. Okay, a strange question, but maybe you know anything about uh, can foreign citizens get military education training, become British Army officers? Yeah, you can. You can. People from foreign countries go to the uh, Sandhurst all the time. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but um, yeah. It's pretty hard to get in, though. Sandhurst is like. I don't know. If you. Lots of the time, it's lots of people who are. I don't know. You say, say you get like princes going to there and stuff. It's up there the same as West Point. But it's been around longer, I, th I think, anyway. Keith, how you doing, man? Alright, I'm going to try the Milk Kiss Soft Cake. I've got the highest hope for this, because this looks really, really nice. Milk and honey. Milk and honey. But yeah, just check it out on the website, uh, comedian. Okay. It's been a little... Uh, it's not been squashed that much. Just the layers. It's like, you know when you go to like a McDonald's or Burger King or something? <laughs> you see like the Chad Burger. So like, can you see that there? The Chad, the Chad Burger and what you get. Like a squashed, flat version of it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bit, like, um... A bit harder, actually. I guess soft, softer is better. How do you... Uh, Sandhurst. Sandhurst, the Officer Academy in the UK. Alright, let's give it a go. I like that. That is nice. That's really like, you know, I've gone in on the cream now. Okay, heading out to, to bed. Got exam tomorrow morning. Uh, good night. Cheers, Lars. Thanks for, uh, for being here. I didn't know you've been here today for a long time, so thank you, mate. I appreciate that, man. And uh, good luck tomorrow. Good luck tomorrow, mate. Um, cheeseburger, would be nice. it would be nice. It would be nice, mate. Very nice, actually. This, the, what, do I, what am I going to give this? Yeah, Sand Sandhurst. Yeah, that's it. This is nice. These are these are nice. I I would buy. I'd buy these. I feel like it's very um. It says it's honey. I'm not really getting too much honey. I'm getting almost like like a nutmeg or something like that. But still, well, I feel like everything I'm doing is going. It's like getting around the same scores. Seven point five, actually. That's probably the yeah. That's the nicest thing I've had so far. Seven point five. Although I can't remember what I gave this, but even still. Oh, actually, I mean, I'm just. This is a good one so far. On average, everything's really like pretty high. Quick palette cleanser. Uh, we got another thing. Uh, kind of looks similar to the last one. But it's a... Um, yeah, I don't know if you can read that. Probably can't really see it. Opex... Obka. Don't know what this is either. Some of these are just... It's kind of guesswork, you know. I guess you've got the, the booklet. I don't know if this is going to have to be filled or anything. Or if it's just like a hard cookie or not. But... Just a, just a biscuit. That's what it was. Just a, a thick, big old thick boy biscuit. All right, here we go. Looks like a rusk, yeah it does. 
ain't got that texture. I don't even know what that is inside. That doesn't smell nice. Doesn't smell <laughs> sweet or anything. He a thick boy, he is, he is. Kind of tastes like what I just had there with that, but not as good. A bit more like bready. Yeah, that's softer and and sweeter. I don't really know what that is. Not for me. It's alright. It's fucking dense though. It's dense, you know? I'm just trying to, trying to actually see what I'm having. I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you reckon I should do? Should I read the booklet before I do it? Or it's probably better me just being like, what the fuck am I eating, you know? I think I prefer it just being like, what is this? I don't have a clue what I'm eating right now. Better reactions, I, I suppose. You, there's, if you don't know what you're getting, I think it's, yeah, it's more fun like that, I think. We like our boys stick around here. Oh, yeah. You know it, mate. Surprise your mouth, yeah. We haven't, what we haven't had on this uh, episode so far is um, something that's actually really shocked me. On the Romania one, I was shocked. Like, there was something in there that I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> but we haven't had it today with this one. Oh, I've got a few things left. I left the chocolates for last. All right. Medenki. Medenki. Sorry for anyone from Romania who are watching this and I'm absolutely butchering the pr pronunciation, but I'm trying my best. If you are, let me know in the comments below or let me know in chat. We did have a Romanian in earlier earlier on today. It's another thick boy. It's another big thick boy. I think that's gingerbread underneath there. Or maybe it's just I don't know. They've all it's coated in chocolate anyway, this one. Mmm. Gingerbread. A chocolate covered gingerbread. Gingerbread. I can't talk today. I mean that's what it is, but there's not much to it, but quite nice. Just a big gingerbread cookie. I keep saying cookie, so I guess it is more a cookie than a biscuit. Bit of a cakey texture to it. With chocolate on top, so I quite like it. Five point nine, five point nine. Quite nice. For what it is, do you know what I mean? I'm not like rushing off down bakery every day getting as much gingerbread as I can or anything, but it's quite nice, you know. It's different. Um from out packaging, I didn't think I was gonna get that. Alright, let's save that one for last because that's a bit more this one looks like a this is uh, called a black and brownie Maipa. Maipa. All right. So it's a wafer all around the outside. Actually showing up on it. Actually showing up on the camera with what looks like chocolate in in between. I bet it's regular chocolate, but Liam thinks everything tastes like. <laughs> yeah, I do, mate. I'm always saying that, aren't I? I'm like, this tastes like ginger or nutmeg or whatever. I'm always saying that and these things. All right, let's give it a go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this on. Try and get the. I've got it on my. Uh... I'm trying to get. I'm gonna try and get the crunch in here. nice. I wasn't expecting that. These things, yeah, with wafers are usually just like not much flavour. That's like crunch. That's actually like really quite, I, I like that. Then goes ASMR. <laughs> Do you like that, Sam? Are you liking this, Sam? Are you getting tingles right now? Um, that's that's really nice. Really surprised by that. 
I was wondering where the where the uh, brownie thing came in, but basically between each layer of wafer, there's chocolate, and it's like quite almost on the level of feels like it's almost at the level of melting. So it kind of like when you it goes in your mouth, it's kind of a uh, that's good. That's really nice. Everything I'm today, it's like it's been really nice yet, but it's not like eight like change your life nice or nine or anything like that so it's kind of like i'm giving out a lot of sevens today but yeah this is this is nice i'm gonna go seven point five with that as well seven point five that's that's really good 7.5 is actually a really good score. That's nice. I would definitely buy that again. I would definitely buy that. Go out and try it. Moiper, black and brownie. It's it's weird because it does like it has like a chocolate kind of river on the front of there, and it kind of feels like that. It kind of feels like the chocolate goes in your mouth and then goes watery, and it's in between these two like crispy dry wafers as well. So it's a, it's nice if you like if you like texture, if you like different textures that's a that's a definite yes for you i'm glad i'm not wearing headphones i feel like someone was eating right next to my ear yeah <laughs> uh 10 would be uh yeah yeah 10 is like the greatest thing the greatest thing ever all right i have no clue what this is going to be like I barely see that as well. I have to describe that. It's basically it's got a, a what I can I think it's a lemon. Yeah, a lemon on this side with some nuts. Basically, it's more wafers with chocolate in between, but on top is like nuts with chocolate on top of it. I'm gonna have to cook. Yeah, Zane. Zane's cooking is gonna get a ten. <laughs> this is another fucking thick boy, man. The size of it. That is the, that's a big old chocolate bar. All right, let's uh, let's give it a go. I'll do I'll do a bit of the ASMR again, just so because it's wafer, we'll, we'll compare the wafers. <laughs> okay. They aren't skimping, man. This is like a big, you know, that's a lot of food. It's similar to the one before. It's not as good as the one before, I don't think. This has nuts and citrus taste to it. So actually, the citrus tastes quite nice. I don't know if that's lemon or orange. I think it's lemon. Basically, if you want it to be a bit less chocolatey and a bit more like citrus, go for this one. That one was really nice, but this one is, um, it's not bad actually. It's actually, it is nice. It is nice as well. The nuts, I like the nuts on the top. Usually I don't like these wafer things. These wafer things are popular. I was like quite. I think they had one in the Spanish one I did, and they've had it in the um, Romanian, and I didn't like them. That is a lot. That is a lot though. Going through like the whole, it's a big boy. That's a big boy package. Big thick. Yeah, big thick boy. I do like it. It's not as good as the other one before. Um, but again, not bad. I'd say it's probably more like a a 6.4 though, 6.4, yeah, pretty, uh, it's decent. I might have maybe gone a bit low on that one at the end, but uh, it was nice. Kyle, how's it going, man? You okay? How can you have a citrusy wafer? It is, no, that's what it is. Citrusy, it's like a citrusy chocolate with the weight in, it's got wafer in there, basically. 
But yeah, so I think that's everything. Let me just, uh... We went through quite a few snacks there. Felt like that didn't go on too long. Let me, uh, just do some highlights. These are really nice. I feel like they're need, they need to be a bit more heavily flavoured. They need to chuck a bit more of the dust in there, though. But very nice. Just one highlight. Milk Kiss soft cake as well, another thing. Milk Kiss, decent. Very, very decent. Oh, they've fallen on the table. Um, tzatziki. Little tzatziki cubes. Again, really good. I don't know if you put them on salad or not, or you just eat them like a snack, but uh, well, I guess it says snack on the thing. Really good. And whatever these things are called, these buttery biscuits, these are really, really nice. Really good. But yeah, overall, Bulgaria gets a... It's two thumbs up, man. Really good. I liked it. Um, I don't know what I'm getting. I think I'll be getting another one of these in, in the next couple of weeks or whatever. But, um, yeah. I'm just going to end the video here. But, uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please consider uh, subscribing and liking the uh, video. And, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.